My name is Kirsten Miller. I'm a sophomore. I'm studying economics and strategy at <coughs> business school, and I'm running for vice president of administration. I decided to run for vice president of administration um, over the past year. I've been in student union as a senator. I spent the last term as the university initiatives chair, and I've really learned two things while I've been in Senate and kind of inside of SU. And the first is that um, SU has two main resources for students. The first is money, clearly $2.1 million that's given out. Um, and we think that students don't necessarily have as much access to this as they should. Um, students have to be part of a student group in order to appeal for money. And one of the things that we would really like to do is give students, even not part of a student group, or students in student groups who collaborate with other student groups, access to money through a student initiative fund where they would have to appeal to Treasury. And then the second thing the student union has to offer that um, a lot of students don't necessarily get in on is knowledge. Um, student union has a lot of knowledge about what administrators to talk to if problems arise, what student groups to talk to about different issues. And not all students and not all student groups <laughs> have access to these resources. They don't necessarily share in the knowledge that we have as an institution. And so as vice president of administration, I'd really like to disseminate this knowledge. And I think that it kind of within student union too, there's a lot of different knowledge. So Senate has its own knowledge and Treasury has its own knowledge but they don't really share knowledge together a lot. So things like the Diversity Affairs Commission, or Council, and now the Green Events Commission, um, the legislation hasn't really been talked about a lot between the bodies. And so as Vice President of Administration, I'd really like to get the bodies talking a lot more. So not only opening it up to students, but also opening it up within the body so that we can share information. And then the second thing that I've learned over this past year is that there's actually a lot of problems with student union, and I kind of see that from the inside. Um, we've obviously been trying our best to do a lot of things that we can do, but now I see some of the issues that we truly need to work on, and some of it is sharing knowledge with each other. I think the student union's also been pinholed into doing a lot of, or pigeonholed into doing a lot of things that has been done in the past, but we don't really know why. Um, so things like the duck contribution, we need to really investigate where that's going, the 560 building, why are we still sending money there, is it being beneficial to student groups? And so kind of questioning the status quo and seeing what's useful and continuing with those, but then also working with student groups if some of these things aren't useful. I know a big part of the VP administration job is sort of internally focused, um, and with that in mind, uh, first of all, how will you work um, to sort of solve the problem of retention um, that we've seen over the year? Um, and how um, will you personally be a leader for people within the SU? So the first, with the retention issue, I think that a lot of the frustration that we've seen from the people who have left student union in the past year is that they feel like their work wasn't wasn't working towards something, I guess, better for the student body. That was probably Trevor's concerns. A lot of the senators felt that it was too much work that they weren't really being um, recognized for or that it wasn't actually helping the student body in the way that they wanted it to help. So I think that a lot of like working with senators and treasury to work together on things, um, getting senators to work together on things so that it reduces some of the stress on individuals for their projects. But then also, again, sharing the resources. So the executive branch has a lot more connections with administration than some of the lower members of the body or like in treasury and senate or um, class councils and school councils have. So it's disseminating that information so that they have the resources available to them so they're not feeling like they're just butting their head against the wall when they're trying to contact administrators or trying to get things done. Um, and then one thing that I would like to do is if there are retention issues so that if somebody does decide to leave that I do an exit interview with everybody so that we make sure exactly what their problem was, how we can change it in the future because I think there's a lot of hearsay as to why somebody left, why they didn't leave. They tell student unions something like, you know, they're too busy with classes but then it actually turns out that they just didn't like it or something. So it's making sure that we have the real reason nailed down and that that doesn't happen in the future. How do you balance um the internal, I know there's a lot of traditions in, um, you know, with Senate and Treasury, how everything must be passed, and that's very important to you guys internally, but how do you balance that internal tradition with um, the external accessibility, um, if that makes sense? Um, making yourselves even marketing, marketed, not I want to say marketed, but accessible to the student body and get students to buy into what you're doing. 
Right. So one of the big things that we as a slate have kind of talked about is getting people to come to committee meetings because I think that, or Senate committee meetings, because a lot more work on actual personal projects and kind of the things that Senate and SU actually changes are done in those meetings instead of in actual Senate body meetings. We've been fortunate this year to have a lot of students, especially the student groups, come to Senate meetings, but they don't really see the actual work or get kind of a say in when we're writing legislation and when we're talking about what things we want to address and things. And so we would really like to get students involved in that, and that's a lot less tradition because there's no Roberts rules in committee meetings, so you don't, there's not that barrier to entry where you, you feel like you have to be like political or something to be involved, but you just have to be a concerned student. And a lot of concerned students, I think, are on this campus. So that's, I think, an easy way for students to get involved, but they don't know that that is a way for them to have their voice heard. What do you think overall should be the purpose of SU, and how do you um, see your role next year in sort of um, making sure that SU achieves its most fundamental mission? Okay, so I, I guess that this kind of goes back to the three, the Advocate Allocate program. Um, personally, I kind of think that the advocacy issue is one of the most important. Um, Obviously, allocation and programming are also important for the student body, but I think the student groups are really good at programming. It's a student union can kind of facilitate that. And Treasury does pretty well at allocations, and hopefully with the student initiative fund, that will go better. But the advocacy issue is, I think there's a lot of things that students wish they had a voice in, and they don't. So for example, the smoking ban that got passed, that still kind of an issue that I th think students wish they would have had a voice in that they didn't, and student union even didn't get a proper voice in that. Um, and then things like the ice skating rink outside the duck, that the where students' monies are go money is going, that student union and students need to have a voice in that. And if student union has to be that voice, then they should serve as that voice. And to the administration, student union really needs to advocate for students' rights.